Michigan was one of four states that played a key role in this landmark case. Fox 2's Amy Lang in Ann Arbor with reaction. Joy, excitement, relief. April DeVore and Jane Rouse and their legal team get their wish. A ruling from the Supreme Court making same-sex marriage legal in all 50 states. I don't know that we really woke up today thinking today was the day, but um, it is, and, and we're so happy. We are so happy. I still can't believe I'm kind of standing here right now, so... Uh, it hasn't sunk in. We're just like everyone else. We're the next door neighbor. We're your coworker. We're your sister. We're your brother. You know, we're your child. And, you know, we do deserve the same rights as everybody else. And, and our kids deserve the same rights. It started with the kids. This was initially an adoption battle for April and Jane, who could not jointly adopt their children because of Michigan's 2004 constitutional ban on same sex marriage. Judge Bernard Friedman suggested they challenge that ban. A trial was held and Friedman ruled the ban unconstitutional. The Sixth Circuit reversed that, and then it was on to the Supreme Court. And now this. Outside, the celebration underway in Ann Arbor. Speeches and cheers. So many have waited so long for this moment. We never could have in a million years anticipated that this case would go where it ended up going. Same-sex couples, their families, their children have to be just treated with dignity and respect. I feel like an American today. I've waited 61 years for this day. It's been a long and arduous journey. But many here mindful this is not the end. The lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community is still not protected from discrimination here in Michigan. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done. This is not the end of it. Uh, you can get married on a Friday and fired on a Monday. You can get kept out of your house on a Monday. Um, and that's just not just. That's not right. But that's a fight for tomorrow. This day is a day to celebrate. <laughs> They tied the knot, 77-year-old Marge Eddy and 78-year-old Ann Sorrell, together 43 years, finally, legally married. Is it surreal? For sure, for sure. That's a great, yeah. great word. I just can't believe this is happening. So many people have described this day as surreal. Can you imagine waiting 43 years to marry the person you love? Fortunately, April, Jane, and so many others will not have to wait that long. In Ann Arbor, I'm Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.